Alright, hello everyone. This is just some um, gameplay of Cyberpunk 2077. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. I'm playing this like five times. My phone is in, so I don't know what time it is. But I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna turn off my light. And I'm gonna move my TV out so I can see that. It... Alright. No, nope, not my TV. It's just hold on. Uh, you're not gonna be able to tell what the heck is going on. But my TV is like a rotating TV, so I have to tilt it. Anyway, as you can see, I'm on uh, the Gimme Danger mission, and if we look in here, um, I got David's jacket, um, pretty basic clothing besides that, just some black pants, white shirt, black shoes, um, got a cool gas mask in this hat, I actually do want to show you um, something, a thing. A uh, very important thing. Uh, basically, I actually want to show you guys what I look like without the outfit. Don't ignore all that bottom half. But let's take a real quick zoom in. I can't zoom in. Uh, here. Let's go into photo mode. And zoom into my face here. That's not how my face looks. Hold on. Uh, I don't quite think the face loaded in properly. Yeah, that's not how my face looks. Hold on. Uh, let me go this way. I have a. Here, what I was gonna show you. Um, I was gonna show you my cyberware. So I have the. Uh, can't read that, but it's um, it's pretty good. So it has by, uh, 9 base RAM, 4 quick hack slots, I've got reboot optics, weapon glitch, um, short circuit, and cyber psychosis. I've got some visual cortex support, for reasons I guess. I've got uh, the memory boost because I need it. It recovers um, 1 RAM unit uh, per enemy killed, which is really, really nice. Um, and then I've got RAM upgrade, because I need even more RAM recovery. Then I got the Kiroshi Ar Optics Mark III, because I gotta have the best of the best. Um, but basically I have the, um, I'll show you. I have the Threat Detector, which I'm pretty sure anybody who's played this game knows what that is. But basically it highlights any enemies that have detected me in red, so it's really easy to see enemies. I have weak spot detection, which just increases my crit chance because, you know, gotta have it. And I have explosives analysis because if I ever throw a grenade, which I usually don't, um, I can see exactly where it's going to explode. Then for my circulatory system, I got bioplastic blood uh, vessels just so I can regenerate health a little better. Got the rare ones because I gotta. Um, the tear zone injector because I do breach protocol quite a bit. And sin lungs because stamina is nice. Anyway, got the shock and awe because uh, reasons, I guess. I don't know. I just needed something to put in this slot. And then I also got, I can't quite read that, but it increases all resistances by eight, which is convenient. <sighs> I cannot talk this much while still being able to breathe. Karinskov because Karinskov. And, um,. Symptomatic Accelerator, because uh, if an enemy detects me, it's just really nice to be able to know. Got the Subdermal Armor, because I need to have that insane amount of armor. And Optical Camo, so I can just literally go invisible. I uh, got the Reinforced Tendons, because literally the best cyberware you can have. Double Jump. Um, got the Epic Mono Wire, because... I mean, just look at the DPS. This is early game, like, I'm level 17. Uh, with only like 26 street cred, so this is the best. Uh, this is the best of the best that I can get. I got the smart link because smart weapons are nice. Titanium bones because um, you know, carrying capacity, gotta have it. Um, and 
I, I don't have the brain power to read that, but it increases my health by 30%, which is quite convenient. I think that's all the cyberware I have. Um, and I can also show you my gear. I'm going to put my outfit back on. This is my wardrobe outfit that I made. Honestly, it's literally just David's jacket, a white shirt, black pants, black shoes, gas mask, um, cool hat. I really like this hat. I have no idea why. I just do. It's like, it's given me like flashbacks to 1940s Br uh, Great Britain. British Mafia in the 1940s was uh, pretty fun. Not that I would know anything about it. Like I was, I'm totally not involved in that kind of stuff because I'm not that old. You know, I'm not, I'm not that old, just a little old. Uh, Edgerunner's logo, because, you know, yeah, reasons. You know, this thing actually, hold on. This trench coat actually looks pretty cool. The, <laughs> these goggles just look goofy. Um, I like these, uh, shades though. I wouldn't replace my gas mask for them, but they are pretty cool. Anyway. Uh, I like this, uh, jacket. It's legendary, which is cool-ish, I guess. I don't know. This, um, it's, a, it's, it, I don't know. I have, I have no answers for any questions that anybody may have. Uh, I gotta have the biker jacket, because, yeah. Anyway, David's jacket is probably the best suit of armor I've got, because, you know, I've got the mitigation strength and the even more mitigation strength. Meanwhile, this one just has an empty clothing mod slot, and they have, I'm pretty sure they have the exact same amount of armor. So I just wear David's jacket because David's jacket. I can throw the goggles back on. Um, but basically, I just wear whatever has the best stats. Uh, and then I just throw my outfit on top of that. I need to change this shirt to black. I'm trying to have um, David's full outfit plus a hat and a mask, um, but it's not quite there. I need a black shirt, not a white shirt. I don't know why. Anyway, my quick access. This replaces my grenade slot, which is why I barely ever use grenades. I replaced my melee weapon with this thing, just because I like having a pistol in my inventory somewhere, uh, and I already have a melee, which is my cyberware. I have guts, because... <sighs> guts and I also have the defender uh, it's pink I don't know why but uh, yeah out of everything I have this has the highest DPS besides my cyberware um, and that's why I use this thing for pretty much everything I've taken down the max pack with this thing. like that's how overpowered the mono wire is but yeah I also have Johnny uh, not Johnny um, I have Jackie's bike over here somewhere Oh yeah, we got uh, Jackie's bike. I can hop on this. Let's zoom in on me here. Yeah, we got David's jacket with the gas mask. Let me back up a little. Funny enough, you pretty much cannot wreck this thing. Like you can, it'll get damaged and it won't be able to ride anymore. But visually, it won't look any more wrecked. And uh, after a while. Yo, what? What just happened? Uh... I just... Like... All that happened so fast. A police warrant- Like, it killed me before the police warrant was even issued. What happened? What did I do? Ugh. That's really weird. I was gonna ride over to Takamura on Jackie's bike. But it turns out, uh, if I even get near that turret, it'll kill me, even though I don't even have a bounty on my head. I may or may not have a bounty on my head. I don't know. I don't know what I did before I came into this Ripper Dog's office. Uh, Cyberpunk's load times are so annoying. Um, it's almost there. I say almost. It's not even close. This gameplay is going to be so boring for anybody that watches it. Uh, just because I can't edit out load, load screens, so it's just going to gonna suck. 
Here we are at what appears to be David's Ripper Dock, just because if you look on the map here, it's the closest one to Mega Building H4, which is where David lives. Where is it? Right here? Um, that's... is that H6? That is H6. Where's Mega Building H4? Um... Hold on. Anyway, David lives in Santo Domingo. Somewhere. Um, I know he lives in Mega Building H4. That is H6. Um, right here? Here it is. Mega Building H4. That's where David lives, so I would assume the closest Ripper Dock to his house is, you know, obviously the one he goes to. But this does not look like David's Ripper Dock. He's got the glass, he's got the cyber goggles or whatever. He's got the eyes, but nothing else. Like, literally nothing else about him looks like David's Ripper Dock. He's also quite young. So, you know, there's that. Uh, if I step out of here, do I instantly have a police- Oh, it must have been because I swung the mod away. That must be what it was from. Otherwise, if I just walk out here, let's see if I just randomly die. See, there's this thing. That thing. It likes to kill me for no reason. Like... There it is. That thing always kills me. Oh, I can just turn it off. Yeah, I keep, like, I keep dying from these things, even though I literally did nothing to provoke anyone. Like, I have a one-star warrant, the police thing was it. I'm just confused. What did I do? Seriously, what did I do? I need to see all Alright, I'm gonna go over here. See, these, these kinds of things terrify me. Because I, I walked past a turret, and I instantly had a police warrant issue. What did I do? I have no idea. So now I just have to run. I could have also gone invisible. Like, you can't see my body. I'm gonna parkour. I'm parkour, man. Oh, hey, my police warrant is gone. Alright, uh, we're gonna call over that guy. Please don't hit me, sir. Hit me, sir. Ow. Literally did like no damage. There's my bike. Thanks, man. Oh, hey, my stuff is back. Anyway, the bikes in this game handle everything else, not so much. Like, the bikes actually turn, and they also have downforce, unlike the cars in this game, which have to be the way Like, Cars in this game do not have downforce at all. No. Absolutely not. So that's fun. Like, if you're questioning how I got David's jacket, don't. Just look it up on YouTube. If you haven't watched that channel yet, uh, you should totally watch it. Great anime. Based on this game, actually. Um, and yeah. Oh, hey. Anyway, this is just gameplay if you're going through the story of Jackie's bike because why not? Because why wouldn't I do that? Ow. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Okay. Uh, I, apparently I went the wrong way. So, it's time to fix that. I was so focused on talking to the uh, like, 
my weapon. I draw I drew my weapon. Give me give me my, my give me my weapon. There's nobody around here. Whoa! That guy just loaded in. Uh let me go invisible. Thank you. Okay, now I can take them out in a bit distance if my weapons will load in. Give me, give me my weapons, please. I would like to be able to draw my weapons, that would be quite nice. Okay, the game is completely broken. Uh, let's get this over with! Show yourself! Oh, I really hope this isn't my danger. Yeah. I literally pressed the trigger over there. Oh, that was... Why do I have a police warrant? What? What? See, this keeps happening. Like, I get a police warrant for no reason, and everybody's trying to kill me. What's that guy? Go away. Don't like that. Go away. 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 Go Go ahead and die, I'll play strike. Oh my god. Oh, wait. I don't like you. I don't enjoy your company. Where's my guy? Oh, oh, oh. Just let me out of here, please. I killed the NCP for fun, just not right now. I'm trying to do a story mission. Can I call the bike now? Can I call the bike now? Where are you, Mr. Bike? Come back to me. Oh, it's over here. Blast his fucking head off! Kill him! Where are they? What? How do I get over here? I ran like six miles away. Where's my bike? Where's my bike? Oh. Ah, Why is my bike running away? No, what? Come here. Why are you running from me? Oh boy. Yeah, this is why I tell you this game runs like crap. My bike? My bike's running away. No, what? Where did it go? What? What is going on? Okay. Uh, honestly, what? Why am I in first person now? 
Why can I not switch cameras? What? Where'd my hands go? Oh, this game is severely broken now. As soon as I start recording, the game just stops functioning. Like, it normally... Hold on. Uh, if, you, if the game is ever being really stupid, you can just pause it and wait for that loading thing to go away. Because, like, look, nothing's loading in right now. Once the loading thing goes away, everything should be fixed. Where'd all my crap go? Ow. Um, that's really nice. Oh, Cyberpunk 2077 is a hassle to deal with. This game is legitimately the most broken thing. Oh my god. I still have a two-star one. Why? Why won't this thing go? It's finally gone away as soon as I get out of the elevator. Okay. That's really annoying. I can't switch. Oh my god. As soon as I get back in the elevator, the warrant is gone. And then as soon as... As soon as I get out of the elevator, the warrant is gone, right? Holy... I went the entire wrong way. Okay, we're going this way. I don't even know how that guy died. I wasn't responsible for his death, okay? Now leave me alone. Just trying to go meet Takamura, please. Can I just not die right now? I don't need to have a broken game. Oh! I swear to god. Every time I pause the game, something's not loaded in properly. I pause the game to test it, and yup, some's not loaded in. God. Good thing I didn't spend any money on this game because I would have regretted it. God, why does this feel like the game was... Why does this feel like how the game was two years ago? This is two years of progress wasted because the game is still stupidly buggy. How am I still in combat? Where did the sounds go? There they are. Why is my warrant still here? Why am I still in combat? What is going on with this game? See, now I'm not in combat. I had to go 550, I had to go like 30 different buildings away, just further away, just to get my warrant to go away. Why is stuff not loading in? What's, hold on, I gotta get the chest for this that we're eating. In I better turn on the external fan. Okay, external fan is running. Hopefully that might fix some things. Um, for now. Uh... Oh yeah, there, there's Falco. I killed Fingers, by the way. The weird doctor dude. Why did I talk to him? The sounds are gone again. Why did I call Falco? Why is nothing loading in?
Falco. Um. Oh. Anyway, uh, for now. Oh, this finally. going further away. <laughs> this game is so broken. <laughs> Bro, why is this game so goofy? I guess my talking. Come back to me. <laughs> Where are you going? What is going on? No! Why? Why are you doing this? Come back to me. Why am I in... Okay. I was gonna say, why am I in... Where did the sound of my bike go? There's the tires. Tire glow. What is going on with the tire glow? Oh, this game is so broken. Oh. Well, I just got launched. That's a nice way to exit a bike. Oh boy, this game. This game, man. Honestly, I might just switch to playing MW2 for a minute. Okay, uh, there's a loading thing, finally. Why are two things highlighted? And why won't they go away? Okay, that's interesting. Well, uh, we're going up to the market because I gotta meet Tanzura. Um, so the game finally decided to work. That's nice. Really nice. That's quite nice. So now I gotta go this way. Oh wow, this is quite high up. It'd be a shame if someone were to fall from this thing. Somehow, some way. I don't know how they do this. But, there's gotta be a- Whoa, crap. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, that was interesting. I'm gonna get guy in a hole now. Yeah, all those jokes and memes about Cyberpunk 2077 not running on console properly, they were all definitely true. I feel like it'd run on a Series X, but and maybe a PS5, but literally nothing else would run Cyberpunk 2077. I doubt a Series S would even have enough space. Like, I'm using an external hard drive on my PS4, because I have a slim, so it has, like, no storage. Ugh. Guys, let me know when my game's loaded. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm sleeping now. Alright, I'm bored of sleeping. Where'd my phone go? There's my phone. I'm gonna check what time it is. It is currently 10.13 at night, and somebody named Oki just subscribed to my channel. Interesting. Y'all, if this video ends up being really stupid, which it probably will. Oh my god, I spawned 1.4 kilometers away. I'm just gonna go. Anyway. Uh, I don't want copyrighted songs, that would be a bad thing. Anyway, I spawned uh, over a kilometer away from my destination, so that's nice. Um, all that effort to make the game work. I mean, hey, it's working now. 
Like nothing's completely broken yet. I think turning on my fan kind of helped. Oh shoot, we gotta turn here. Ooh, that didn't work. I like the glowing rims. Okay. That's interesting. Get out of my way. How come I'm performing all of these really cool, all of these really cool stunts and stuff? And yet I can't do like the game won't work, but it'll let me do all of these really sick and awesome stunts. Where did that NCPD scanner thing go? There's one like right next to me. And now it's just done gone. Like, there was one right next to me while I was biking around. An NCPD scanner. And it just done left me. Left me in the dust. Let me get on my motorcycle. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Oh, there it is! My game is broken. What? some enjoyment out of this game for the first time in like 18 minutes. However long I've been recording, my mono wire disappeared for a minute there. It likes to do that. Okay, I'm in third, I'm in... Alright then. Well, we're gonna go this way now. Oh, what in the... I don't think that's supposed to happen. Bye. Oh, it didn't leave me. Okay. Insta-food. See these things everywhere. I should 
probably shouldn't be singing that song because, um, copyright reasons. <laughs> That's fun. Alright, let's not jump off the balcony. Actually, you know what would be a good idea? Because we went through all of this effort trying to make the game work for the first time in like 27 years. Um, we're gonna go ahead and save. A lack of empathy. Hey, I think I have that one. A lack of empathy seems to be something I, um, I demonstrate quite a bit. Anyway, uh, where's Takamura? Here's, here's Takamura. Can I get these guys out of the way? Oh, these are NCPD guys. Who are you? You pushed me. I'm angry now. I want to pull out my shotgun. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Hit you with Things are right. Oh, perfect timing. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information on my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who'd care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. I don't know, I'm just letting you Yorinobu will also put here. on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. Okay. I see nothing. But lies. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I, mean, I, have I learned but... more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. The closest thing to a glacier in your chest. That miracle, all it takes... Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Uh, all right. Let us move on. Take control of the float is one thing, but not all. No, but no. I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we get... Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. 
You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Oh, I'll see. Alright, well, now that I'm back with you guys, why did my, why, where's my cyberware on my hands? Oh yeah, I forgot, it's on my underarms. It doesn't appear on the tops of my hands. We. Ooh! <clears throat> that was nicely timed. Ooh, that's a good name. We're definitely showing that on YouTube because I have no way to edit it out. Um, anyway, what exactly do I do here? Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, the button, there it is. Fucking worked. Well, that was interesting. And? Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such That's... a bed of roses. But before okay, we discuss that... that. Oh. I can't take double check. Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Alright, that sounds like it. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, yakitori. please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saga scum okay, might actually it. prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? Wherever you are. No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Alright, hey, well, yakitori. see you later, Mr. Um, Keanu Reeves, I guess. That's what you are now. I look away when you get Okay, no. I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. Clearly he does One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's fort. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. All I really have is a really good shotgun. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot really away from Hanukkah. Really Oda would not dare raise his hand against okay me. Pistol, what about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. I'm gonna eat. I like is your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes. But we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. Sorry guys, I'm in What are you doing? Don't let, let him off his leash. So. Let him stray even a couple of feet. You can say goodbye to his fucking honor. Go with him, V. Yeah, I can use so. Cook! Louder! Louder! Yorinova. In the flesh. 
President Myers has called this a He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete the power. USA they the surrendered it to Tell him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. Oh. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Why does Saburo tolerate it all? Oh, what? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. That sucks. She's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Time for some reconnaissance. Wait for my call. Um, well, now that you guys have gotten to enjoy a little bit of that, uh, I think for now, I'm gonna save and then head out. Yep, alright, anyway. Oh, ah, I'm gonna, throw up. I'm gonna save my game uh, after it decides to load. And, I guess. After this, I will see you guys later. Uh, see you in the next video. And, uh, bye-bye.